Welcome to the part 79. We will look at questions focusing around Elastic Cash, EMR, DAX, Aurora, Code Commit, Code Deploy, and so on. Subscribe if you have not done yet. This is the YouTube handle of this channel. There are 600 plus videos on this channel on AWS, Azure, Google Cloud snowflake tap you and so on so in this question there are two characters one is rds database rds is a relational database on cloud what it means is suppose you have oracle on your premises or a sql server database if you want to move these databases to cloud you can use the rds services okay this is going to host your database on cloud it is highly available and mind you it is meant for relational only not for no sql relational means you can fire sql queries and get your data everything is related through primary key foreign key relationships so that is your first character the second character is your reports something like aws quick site where you can create such reports and dashboards okay these are your two characters of this story such, such questions are common across different cloud platforms aws azure cloud which is from microsoft or google cloud so the best thing is if you prepare for one certification it also helps you prepare for other two products as well because concepts are almost the same and nothing changes only the service names are different so this guy says we now we have to understand what is your problem statement so you have to improve the performance of the database this guy you know, here rds you want to improve its performance that means it is time to give rds steroids does steroid cost money yes it does so isn't the story worried about cost no it wants performance if you are really excited about uh, activity will you care for cost if this product costs hundred dollars two hundred dollars will you still care no bodybuilders if this product is costly will they care no because they have to go in the competition and win the medals not a good thing to do but then we know that industry does do such things option a dax this is for dynamodb not for rds dynamodb is no sql database it is like if a bodybuilder asks for this product and you are saying hey take this product similarly here this is a misfit rds is purely sql based dynamodb is no sql based this is very fast database uber or left such applications make use of such technologies b says hey guys let us replace rds with emr when someone talks about emr i ask this question is the data volume very high monster size big data types is it that high the question does not give any indication on data volume so why will i choose it second question that i ask this one in green do we need to improve data load performance data load performance that is data write performance the question talks about reports which is read data read reports will fire sql and read reports will read reports will read reports never write if the answer for both the questions is no then emr is wrong option d says use redshift redshift you can see on the left hand side it can take inputs from so many different data sources okay and you can do so many things you can do visualization data that is your reporting using quicksight where you produce such cool dashboards you can do machine learning by connecting to redshift 
and you can build generative AI applications something similar to chat GPT the way this question has been framed you do not need to replace products please remember this you do not need to replace RDS you need to improve on what you already have that is why redshift is not suitable here so we are left with elastic cache and this is your caching in memory caching in this diagram where will cache reside think about it it will reside in between you see this elastic cache this is where it will reside so how is elastic cache useful this guy here tells hey give me sales data for usa this guy says okay i have it and sends it back so the request never goes to the database and database gets some idle time to breathe second scenario scenario 2 this was scenario 1 let's go to scenario 2 this guy says hey give me revenue for a particular territory this guy says hey i don't have it let me ask rds it goes and tells rds hey buddy can you give me revenue for a territory rds says hey why not take this once this guy gets it cash says hey now i have it with me now you can take it okay so this is scenario two cash is like getting this shot something extra which will add cost but give you performance benefits on moral grounds certain things are good or not up to people to decide this next question is on automated backups by default that means it is born with that capability which service has automated backup built in you know i'll tell you one small story i know that rds is there in aws and we were all using it then one fine day aws launched aurora see rds was also hosting mysql postgres sql and so on so why aurora aws told that was come here and we will give you high performance which means faster sql execution by the database and then high availability which means system downtime is minimized or there may be no downtime globally if singapore goes down application is still hosted in london then we told boss rds i can take backups and manage my own and then aurora told hey buddy i will take care of this automatically i have already taken care of this automatically you audience you can pause this piece read it carefully how it works key thing here is aurora backs up your cluster automatically so this is the documentation i have not made this up aws has given this amazon has given this okay and will there be performance glitches if you are constantly taking backups automatically no performance impact no interruption of database service occurs as the backup data is being written nothing so this would be our answer for other services you have to plan the backups when you want it at what time it would create a backup and so on just food for thought why do we create backups so suppose you are a team lead and you have four people reporting to you you want to create backups right for some certain activities if a guy keeps solving p1 tickets and he falls sick then what happens so you will have to create backups right backup means if a system goes down still my application can be restored i don't lose data i don't lose sessions or something of that sort so even if my developer goes away on sick leave i can still continue with providing fixing p1 tickets okay let us look at this next question they are telling about version control see why do we have version control there is is there a reason for that why should we do version control simple 
no reason man only one reason is like suppose you create a code and you have moved to production okay and after moving to production you find out people complaining about errors now what will you do you would want to reverse the code to its original state but friend you have not you don't have version control tool so you have only one version of your code now you are screwed up man you are screwed up now you will have to do a code fix rapidly within one or two hours that is exactly why we put a version control tool here so what happens is you release your new version of the code it goes here in this box black box the black box then sends the new version here now something gets screwed up in production and you are getting errors because of this new code okay not some other code this new code that you have put you are uh, getting this error so what will you do you will simply go here to version control and say boss go to the previous version of the code and deploy it here simple so you can fix the p1 ticket which was there on production within minutes the problem with p1 tickets or resolving p1 tickets is people have already started shitting on you and when they continuously keep shitting on you you have to provide that fix that is you know uh, that a uh, period when you are fixing it it is so crucial and full of pressure man aws has provided a service called code commit common sense code commit you are committing a code you are committing a code where you are committing you are committing it here version control so this is code commit you are committing the code you are committing the code like in oracle databases you are committing the data you fire an insert statement after that you fire commit it will make that entry make that insert permanent consider this as a private git repository of aws if you use code commit files are encrypted at rest your data your code is already encrypted at rest nobody can have a look until they are authorized it is automatically scalable you can you know if multiple people lot of people are trying to save their code no problem man they will not get errors and it is highly available that means it does not go down or even if it goes down it's for very less amount of time maybe maximum 5 minutes in one quarter this is our answer code build is for developers to build and test the code it is not for version control code deploy is for c you know ci cd it's for code deployment cd cd part that pipeline it creates and code star it is for developers build develop deploy boss listen to me boss with code star you can set up your entire continuous delivery tool chain in minutes in minutes that is the advantage you can manage software delivery in one place so we understand this answer no so if you have not yet subscribed and you are looking to get certified around these technologies all these three cloud platforms various certifications not one certification there are so many certifications or snowflake snowflake and tableau are very important because of the cloud hybrid cloud so both snowflake and tableau very important for hybrid cloud multi cloud technologies click the link in the description to become cloud kernel or cloud ninja members cloud ninja membership is for advanced certifications you see if you want to do advanced certifications you go for cloud ninja membership advanced like solution architect professional this is fairly complex fairly difficult to crack there are 600 plus videos on this channel on various certifications keep preparing for certifications see you in the next part if you are preparing for certification just do it just keep preparing till you get perfected